What is up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is Auditorium. I react to video game music from games I've never played or heard about as a musician myself. Today is a special request for Guild Gear Strive Armor Clad Faith aka Potemkin's team. Holy crap, do you guys request this all the time? All the time. This is requested by Sflot, Dion, and boosted via the Platinum tier, Aiden. Thank you so much, Aiden. Well, here we are with Guilty Gear yet again. And, you know, uh, Daisuke is always a good time here. So I, I'm just going to be honest. I'm probably going to like this song. But what I do know is that... I, I don't play this game. But I do know that Potemkin is like the, the big boy of the game. Like the, the grappler. Big body. So just based on that alone... I'm going to guess this song is maybe on the chunkier side, right? I guess that's the only thing I can really think of, because I think of Zangief from Street Fighter, and I think more kind of. But this, then again, it has like a Russian theme. I don't know, whatever. Daisuke and vocals are Naoki Hashimoto. This video is from Cloud Drop. Let's go, Armor Clad Faith. Oh. Damn, bro. <laughs> that intro is deceiving. That might be a seven string guitar. Don't kill the third sky. They five will testify. Captain Spring will come for fast. She's the point in her neck of this. Okay, it's definitely chunky. Countdown to your death? Oh! Nirvana, is that an easter egg? Wait, so is he... Is, is this an Asian inspired character? Our mini guitars are pretty cool right here. Oh, so the vocal parts are very rhythmic, and then the little chorus parts all open. I love when they do the the song title. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's definitely a big boy. A lot of palm muting. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little teaser. This is all over the place. It's not like Chinese instruments. And then it's gonna pick up right here. Bro, this vocalist is insane. I used to think it was dice casing. But it's not. That's so good. We went from a really rhythmic palm muted thing to like a very legato. At this point there has to be a solo in the next like five seconds because of how the song's going.
Whoa. That's not a solo. Breakdown? No. It sounds like a solo coming. Oh, the rhythm guitar. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, the rhythm is really good here. Fry vocals. I like the way this comes back right here. Oh, they extended it? Oh, they did it twice this time. Extended chorus. Signifying the end of the song. That was a cool ending. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so I'm noticing something. At least in Strive, I mostly heard Strive. I've heard some other Guilty Gear, but not much. Mostly Strive. There's a very distinctive formula of his writing here. That's why I was kind of able to tell where the guitar solo was, like almost to the T. Because it, it's very, if it, if it works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I think most songs in Strive are structured this way. And it's not a bad thing, but it's just they're almost all like this. So it's like we have a intro, gets you all pumped up, gets you going. Vocals kick in into the verse, right? It's pretty grooving. Then we go into this, you know, pretty open chorus. Repeat that times two. And then after that, you're going to have a tiny little like bridge or a guitar solo. It's just, it just kind of like leads into it easily. And then usually goes either, when it comes back, it's either gonna go back into another chorus or a third verse to extend it. A lot of songs are written this way. So um, I'm not like some psychic or anything. It's just, I've heard a lot of metal in my life and I've heard a lot of music in my life. And But I've noticed with Strive, it kind of has that formula. I don't think other ones have that. I think I've heard like uh, excerpt a little bit and it didn't really do any of that. Anyways. So this is, this is a very metal AF song, but it does its own thing. So even though it has kind of proper proper formulas, uh, it's, it's experiment. And that's why I like Guilty Gear's music so much, at least Strive. It's, it throws you for a loop. You know, this also happened in Happy Chaos's theme where it went into like this Disney part out of nowhere. This song starts and I was like, oh, we're going into the Far East and I see cherry blossoms and I see you know, dojos and stuff, and then boom, 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 boom. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then somewhere in the middle, there was like this little kind of electronic section that sounded kind of new metal that came out of nowhere. So I like that it still manages to like change things up. It's not just totally copy and paste. It, it's really cool, like the way they experiment with stuff. Well, I was kind of right, you know, based on how he looks and his his archetype i was like well this is gonna be like a chunky kind of song i was thinking it was gonna sound more like like kind of gold lewis's theme because i heard that here i think that was like the second song i heard but uh it, it was still pretty much in that same manner right like the big chunky rhythm and all that but it was fast and aggressive this is like a mosh pit type song this is this is a it's up there it reminded me a lot of the band uh kill switch engage they kind of have the same sort of riffing and uh even the solo, a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of Kill Switch Engage. Like they're okay. Nothing wrong with them. They're really talented dudes. I just, uh, I just never got into like them. But this kind of reminded me of them a little bit. Also, um, let me talk very briefly. There's a so a lot of things that were here. I'm going to shamelessly plug my Discord. I have a little musicians uh, 
section and there's a channel called uh, musical terms where I talk about pretty much everything I'm going to mention here like palm muting legato power chords all that that was all here right it's a very guilty gear is very guitar centric but another thing is that I feel that I'm pretty sure this one had a seven string guitar or maybe a D tuned guitar like ten tuned down a step and a half or something it's hard to tell let me get my uh, guitar to show you what I'm talking about so just give me one second all right so whether or not this song is a seven string or not you're gonna have a free little lesson here this is a seven string guitar this is my Ibanez uh, RGD 771 ALMS so as you can see most guitars have six strings and then the seven string has this added low one so it's thicker it's the, th it's the thickest one it's the chunkiest one used a lot in well metal really because it produces that boom that extra note um when you think of bands like this you think of uh animals as leaders mishuga there's there's some of them go to eight strings and either way it just sounded like that it had that that big chunk feel i haven't pulled out this guitar in a very long time but that's what it sounded like to me and if not then either i th the other the other alternative is that it was just a regular six string guitar but it's no longer in standard tuning it's tuned down to make it sound heavier and lower but the strings still sound tight enough where it doesn't sound all floppy like the thing the thing about guilty gear music and the metal that they use is like it's very tight it's very very rhythmic so I actually don't know. I'm actually kind of stumped. I don't know if that was detuned or a seven string, but it kind of sounded like a seven string to me just because of that low oomph that it has. I just wanted an excuse to pick up my guitar to be totally honest. So yeah, um, I see why it's so popular. This is actually it's a pretty good song. <laughs> it's different. It's different. It's so funny because though the songs sound kind of alike and similar in, in Strive, they all definitely have their own flavors. It's not a lot of the same thing. It's it's just a lot of it's a lot of different ice cream flavors in the shop. But it's still ice cream at the end of the day. So Potemkin's theme, armor clad faith. I don't know, I wonder I don't know what that means, but is he even human? <laughs> so menacing with his pectorals staring at me. Anyways. Yada yada yada, Daisuke is amazing, Guilty Gear is amazing, what else can I say that I haven't said already? <laughs> Super banger, awesome, great song, more please. Actually, I'm doing more pretty soon. So, don't worry Guilty Gear fans, we got you. If you want to make a request to me, you can do so on Patreon or PayPal, either are totally fine, and those are guaranteed ways I will check out your song if you don't mind waiting. If you do not want to wait, there is the Platinum tier on Patreon, which expedites your request to the very top. Speaking of Platinum, Aiden here um, used one of his slots to bump this one up. So this one would have been waiting for a while, but through the generosity of Aiden, we got it up here. So thanks. A big thank you to Aiden. Justin, Kevin, Mushimeri, the BRM, your average metalhead, and DJ Singletone for supporting me. Thanks to Daisuke. <laughs> Thanks, Esfla and Dion. Thanks for guitars to, ex to exist. Thanks to guitars for existing. I know how to speak. Until next time, dudes and dudettes, I will see you in the next video. My name is Jesse. Rock on. Peace.